welcome to another edition of Chat It Up with Nikki and Mickey. Of course, you can see that Vicky is here and Nikki is not again. Although she is in, down in Omaha, Nebraska getting her uh, education, she's going to be a drug and alcohol counselor. So we're very proud of her. We have met very many family members that she could help counsel. Maybe me included, but we're not going to go down that road today. But my friend Roxy's here again. Come on in, Roxy. We got some questions. Thank we had a lot of questions. Yes. yes. So we, uh, Roxy here is going to help with these questions that were yes. sent to us. Um, the first one is from that darn Bradley. You know, he sends so many questions. Yes, he does. I think he's trying to get back together with me. He wants a little Vicky action. Oh, yeah. You want some of that? <laughs> oh. So Bradley <coughs> asks, what do you use ice fishing? Worms, waxies, minnows. Also, what is better, beer or schnapps? Hmm. Well, Bradley, we're going to kill two birds with one stone here. Yes. Here's how we ice fish. And Roxy and I have been doing a lot of ice fishing. Let me just tell you that much. What we do is we bring along a couple bottles of tequila. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We drink those down, though we really don't care if we catch any fish. But we do use the worms that are in the bottom of that bottle. That's right. That's the trick. That is the trick. Because you put that worm on that hook, put it down the hole, and those fish, they bite like the dickens. Mm -hmm. And then when you reel them up and you cook them up, you know, they're pretty good mm -hmm. eating after they eat that oh. liquored up worm. Oh, yes. So there's your answer, Bradley. Bread that up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bread up the worm. Oh, the fish. Oh, well, we don't, you know. After the tequila, we, we. I don't eat the sushi. I like sushi. <laughs> All right, let's get on to our next question. <laughs> Paula. Oh, Paula's been out. This is her second question. Paula's popular. Paula from South Dakota. Paula asks, do fishermen poo in the hole? Oh, Paula. Oh, no, Paula. Please. Mm, 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 mm. Of course we don't poo in the hall. That's where we get our dinner. That would be like you going to Sunshine or Hy-Vee and pooing in the middle of the meat locker there or something. Yeah. No, we do not. Produce. Mm. Produce. Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. no. But I'm sure, you know, they won't think kindly there at Sunshine or Hy-Vee no. if you did that. So, no. We don't poo in the hole. If we do have to poo when we're out on the lake, we have a dog, his name is Joey. We hook him up to a sled and he hightails it to shore. Yes. And there's a little outhouse there. That's where we go poo. That's where we go. But we do go pee pee out there. But not in the hole, just in a bucket. Then we throw it out and it freezes and no one knows anything. <laughs> so then our next question after, thank you Paula anyway. And I hope that that husband of yours grew a whole bunch of hair on his back. Cause he's a bastard for leaving you. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. The next question, if you wonder why I'm keep turning around, is because I have a 150-pound dog sitting on this couch. Well, we'll show him to you later. His name's Joey. Anyway, Alicia, speaking of dogs. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alicia from Minnesota. She did have a dog question. Yes. She says, I'm home tonight with three dogs. What is a real three-dog night? Well, Alicia, I didn't know the Kardashian sisters were in town. Here's what our three dog night is. That's right. Tell them what our three dog night is. What is our three dog night? Well, it's a hot dog, a chili dog. And a corn dog. And a corn dog. No, that's that. right. We, that's the kind of three dog nights we like here. That's what we that, eat. That's what we eat. Corn dogs, you know, mm -hmm. anything. Well, now there's another question that came from Michelle from Colorado. First of all, Michelle, let me tell you. You don't believe that Bradley that I speak of is the Bradley that you know, but it is. He's from Laverne, Minnesota. I won't say his last name on account he probably doesn't want anyone to know that he dated me in high school. How many Bradleys in Laverne? I think he's the only one. Laverne's not that big. It's not. No. It's just across the border from South mm. Dakota, not Canada or anything like that. Anyway, so Michelle... She had a couple questions, but there's only one that I'm really going to answer. And her question, well, actually, Roxy's going to help me with this one. That's right. 
She wants to know, Michelle from Colorado wants to know, I want to do something special for my man. He spends a lot of time at this certain bar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'd like to know why strippers wear seven to ten inch inch mm -hmm. heels and where do they learn to pole dance? Well, the seven to ten inch heels so that they are closer to heaven. Oh yeah, because they're sinners. Those strippers are all sinners. They are sinners. So they got to get any little advantage they can to get to heaven. So that's closer. why they wear them big old heels. Mm -hmm. That's right. And where do they learn to pole dance? Well, you know, I'm not quite sure, but I can tell you this much, that Nikki, mm -hmm. you know Nikki, yeah. well, she's not here, but Nikki was a pole dancer, and she learned over there on the street corner on the telephone pole. I mm -hmm. wouldn't advise that, though, because it took us a month of Sundays to pull all those slivers out of her mm. behind her. Painful. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't pretty digging Painful through all me. that to find them slivers. Mm. Oh, Lord have mercy. No, no, that wasn't right. Um, and you know, I, I'll try and answer that first question, Michelle, you and I'm not going to state what that question was because it was kind of nasty. It was no. a nasty question it about... It was real naughty. It was naughty, Michelle. You, you, I'm going to have to go see the priest about you. Well, we'll have to call. Anyway, that. it was about what people eat and if they turn into that. And all I have to say about that, Michelle, is meow. <laughs> <laughs> meow. Mm -hmm. So our, our, our I think we're this talking is, about. I, no, we, we have a couple more questions. My goodness, I didn't know we had that many. Mm. Steve from Arizona. Mm -hmm. Is this his Steve. first time? This is Steve's first question, oh. and I think it might be his last. It's our first time in Arizona. Yeah, it's our first one from Arizona. Hmm. And anyway, Steve has a question. He says, if the cold Minnesota winters really do make the women keep longer, and if you're not into pokey, does that mean you're frigid? Well, you know, Steve, I think that desert has done fried your brain. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing frigid about us Minnesota women. You can just ask the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 women I've been with. <laughs> Talk to you, man. Times a thousand. Yeah, no, I'm going to be quiet there. Now, uh, Steve, I understand that you're with the airlines. Steve is. So Steve's with the airlines, yes. We won't, we won't say Is he a pilot? No, I think he is a, a, a stewardess. Oh, a stewardess. He's a stewardess on, for an airline, yes. So, Steve, you know, if you think I'm frigid, because I'm from Minnesota, or I'm here right now, mm -hmm. there's one, one, one way that you could really uh, 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 find out if I am. And I, this is something I've always wanted to do. <laughs> I was wondering if you could help me with that My High Club thing. <laughs> You know, get a little Vicky up action going on up there. I can't but believe you haven't been a member yet. Well, all those. Mm. No, no, of course not. I haven't found the right stewardess to do that with. But maybe, mm. maybe Steve, there is the one. Can help you out with that. <laughs> get your membership mm. card. And then our last question of the night is from Raina from South Dakota. Shout out to Raina. Shout out to South Dakota. I've known Raina for many, many years. Ooh. Oh, our little doggy is getting up behind oh. us. I don't know if you can see him, but he's quite oh. petite. Oh he's a Newfoundland, so sit down there, Joey. Joey oh. wants you to get on camera. Hey. Say hi to the folks. All right, so Raina asked, I turned 53 this year, and I mm -hmm. feel like I have been in the pause since I turned 40. Oh, that's a long time right now. Any advice for us ladies going through menopause? Well, we asked Nikki, who's in Omaha, to answer this one for us. And this is what Nikki has to say. She says, Raina, hit your play button, get some good drugs, plenty of vino, and then get a hysterectomy and get that crap out of you. Those old legs, they're rotten anyway. Yeah. You know. Do it. Y'all yeah, yeah. also might want to get yourself a little lubrication just in case you meet that special man or woman, you know, who, who are we to do it? Exactly. You know? Anyway, so that's our questions that we had, and we really appreciate y'all sending them to us. Thank you. Keep them coming. Michelle, you can send another one, honey. Just, you know, don't get too nasty with them. Steve? I don't know where the hell you are. You're flying all over the universe. But, you know, thanks for sending that question. Alicia, say hi to the Kardashian sisters. Yes. 
Bradley, I'll come visit you on my way into South Dakota. You take me for a motorcycle ride. Alrighty. Zoom, well, we zoom. thank you all. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. We, uh, Roxy and I plan, again, we're going to try to go ice fishing. We're going to try. But, you know, they closed the lakes down, so we can't drive mm -hmm. on the lakes anymore. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, that's just crazy. There's 14 inches of ice. But we got Joey. Joey's going to pull us out there. He's going to drag us out on the sled. So, if you, uh, have some time, check in. Maybe we'll have another video of us ice fishing tomorrow. I appreciate your time. Look forward to more questions. Keep them coming. Thanks for stopping in. All right. You uh, head over there, Roxy. Turn that damn camera off again. And you do your jig. I'll do my jig. Do my jig. Do my jig. Do my jig. Keep smiling. Keep shining. Keep sending us those silly ass questions.